What is the role of a da'i and how can women fulfill that role? Our deen, we, our job is not to be a da'i. Our job is to be a Muslim. Ibrahim alayhi salam gave us this deen, the name of this deen, and he said, رَبَّنَا وَجْعَلْنَا مُسْلِمَيْنِ لَكْ وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِنَا أُمَّةً I'm not going to say that I'm not going to say that I'm not going to say that. Our role is to be a Muslim. Never lose that title. This is the title that we are proud of. Everything else, everything else is a piece of this one tree. Everything else is the fruit of this one tree. Your, life, your job in life is not to be a da'i, your job in life is to be a Muslim. Now, as a Muslim, you have lots of responsibilities. Some responsibilities you absolutely have to fulfill every single day. As a parent, I have responsibilities to my child. I have responsibilities to my parents. I have responsibilities to Allah for salah. I have responsibilities of earning. I have these responsibilities every day and I have to fulfill them and I have to try to do justice to all of them. For men, you have to give time to your wife, sorry, you have to give time to your children, you have to give time to your parents, you have to give time to Allah's house, the masjid, you have to give time to your job, you have to give time to your health, you have to give time to your learning, you have to give time to your friends. Oh my God, I ran out of time. You have to give time to your rest. Yes or no? You have to give time to relax. You need it. You need to chill out and just do nothing or do something stupid. You need time for that too. You need time for these things and you need to balance all of those things. And by the way, in the middle of all of that, you should make time to represent the deen of Allah as best you can. Now, does that mean you have to go on the street and do da'wah? If you have time, it's a nice thing to do. But if you don't have time, you are not missing an obligation. You are not missing an obligation. Allah did not tell every single Muslim to go out and do da'wah. Allah Azza wa Jal made that the, the responsibility of an ummah. And by the way, when you find that balance between all of those things, man, that is the greatest da'wah you will ever ever do because the world is out of balance. Nobody knows how to balance their life. People do good in the career and they destroy their family. People take care of their family, they destroy their business. People take care of their children, ruin their marriage. People take care of their parents, forget about their kids. People take care of their kids, forget about their parents. It's all these imbalances. Who is supposed to represent balance? This Muslim. And when you have balance, people will say, Hey, hey, where do you get this balance from? It's so nice. Well, it's from Islam. People will be attracted to this balance. Instead of giving people durus about balance, live it, be it. People should want to be like you. That's what we, you know, that's, that's the real obligation today. I'll tell you the extreme that's happening. I find it very disturbing. People want to study Qur'an, people want to study Hadith, and they want to study it eight hours a day. If you're studying that eight hours a day, your husband or your wife is not getting time from you. Your children are not getting time from you. You're not doing proper exercise. You're probably not eating healthy either. You're not making, you're not keeping connections with your relationships. Allah does not want you to study the Qur'an and forget about your life. This is not a service to Islam. This is imbalance. This is what the Qur'an came to correct. How can you read, sit there, reading Qur'an, and read, قُلْ سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ What does سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ mean? Go out in the land. And you're reading Tafsir ibn Kathir. مَاذَا قَالْ فِي سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ الْقُرْتُبِي سِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ You know, قَالَ فُلَان وَفُلَان وَفُ how about, ماذا قال الله? سيرو في الأرض Go take a walk. Go outside. Allah is telling you, take, you know, go travel. It will increase your iman. It will affect you. The book pushes you to go stop reading sometimes. And go experience. The best of seer of أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَى الطَّيْرِ فَوْقَهُمْ صَافَاتٍ وَيَقْبِدْنَا It's not in a book. The best of seer is where? In the sky, go look. That's the tafsir of that ayah. 